بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد آسم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر ٹوڈے ایم گوئنگ ٹو کریٹ اے ویڈیو وتھ ریگارڈ ٹو دا آئی ڈبلس کلائنٹ وی پی این اینڈ اٹ از دا تھرڈ پارٹ آف وچ از دا کنٹینیشن آف آور ویڈیو وچ ایم کریٹنگ ان وچ وی آر اتھنٹیکیٹنگ دا آئی ڈبلس کلائنٹ وی پی این Uh, via the simple uh, Active Directory so I'm gonna call this cloud elegant dot local so Let's call this VPN as well. This is the same description I'm going to give. So, as far as the side ranges uh, are concerned, you can choose from uh, slash uh, 18 to slash 22. So, let's say I'm going to uh, choose the cider. And this is my internal cider range. just going to be this let it make little bit change okay let's say I wanna call this 10192 okay this is the ACM um, you can also create the uh, self sign certificates and import into the ACM uh, with regard uh, to the creation of self-signed uh, certificates with CA uh, I have also video which is regard to the AWS client VPN so you can watch that video as well so I'm going to use this uh, simple AD which I have set up uh, I'm going to say log uh, now to the log details because it is just a demo and if you are using a windows um, active directory inside vpc so you can give this name of windows and um, what i'm going to do is to go to the directory services and uh, uh, I, I am gonna give uh, one side range of uh, this one so let me pause it and we'll get back to you so guys uh, this is the DNS address of our uh, simple ID uh, I'm going to simply copy one of its uh, IP address and put it here and let's say call this um, the 8.8.8 8 dot eight dot eight tetraid which is the google caching only dns so okay i'm going to uh, use the udp protocol I think this is the new option which I'm saying anyway. So it is created successfully. So what I'm going to do to go to the associations and click associate and I'm going to associate with my uh, account VPC and definitely make sure that you put this in a public subnet 
so if I go to my subnets just to make sure that what is the IP or what is the public subnet address sorry <laughs> it's not IP it is the subnet ID um, I should talk about so it is the subnet ID so 62 I'm going to select this just make sure that one more time okay association in progress security group uh, I'm okay it is associated with that security group authorizations I'm going to give the size range of my VPC which uh, which I've created authorization rule to grant grants to access the network so I'm going to cancel this for now and if I go to the route table and create route so I don't need that for what it is saying actually it is saying that if do you want to enable the uh, internet access on this so internet access As far as the route table is concerned, uh, it is already there. Okay, this uh, this um, tab shows the number of connection which we are going to see. So till then, while it is updating, I'm going to pause the video. So guys, uh, our client uh, VPN is available. Uh, what I need to show you guys, you have to download this configuration file. Okay. So, with regard to that, um, you watch my um, previous video on AWS client VPN setup. So I'm not going to download this uh, and show you what steps you need uh, with regard to the uh, setup need because in this particular file uh, file you have to uh, put this CA uh, certificate authority and all the steps I have already provided in my previous video so uh, simply uh, 
open vpn click on that open vpn i will just rename this file to my local domain uh, and go to the import file so i'm going to connect with the user taha uh, which i have set up so i'm going to paste the password which i'm not going to show you guys so hopefully uh, we will be able to connect you see we are able to connect uh, with our um, client vpn via simple ad so i'm going to disconnect and now i'm going to connect with the different user the other user i set up is is hadi so i'm going to paste the password of hadi and let's see whether he is able to authenticate via aws client vpn so seems that he is also able to connect so this is the way you can um, set up the simple ad and authenticate users via the simple ad thank you guys uh, for watching please like and share my video have a nice day